Hello, I'm Katie Hessel, an author and art historian based in London. You are looking at a painting by Elizabeth Faget Lebrun, born in Paris in 1755 and one of the few women to break into the mainstream. Known for her soft brushstrokes, which made her sitters appear slightly more attractive than they were, Faget Lebrun was praised by wealthy patrons, including Queen Marie Antoinette. But at the onset of the French Revolution, she was forced to flee France and travelled widely across Europe to England and Russia. It's during these travels that we meet her. In 1796, in St. Petersburg, with Countess Anna Ivanovna Tolstaya, a Russian aristocrat. Here, the Countess is draped in a casual white dress with heavy gold chains, signalling her wealth. Overlaying her in an organic curve is a thick yellow cloth. This draws our eye from left to right, towards the silky waterfall, but also to the centre, where her long brown hair, tied up with fabric, frames her porcelain skin and rosy lips. Although meticulously prepared, this scene gives me the illusion that we've just walked into a casual setting. Everything is organically placed, as if mirroring the shiny glazes of water that pour from behind. But this was intentional. It was the end of the 18th century, the height of Romanticism, a movement which prized emotion over reason and rejected the urban for a more natural world. So, while the Countess's beauty might be evident, Vigée Lebrun is also showing her intellectual awareness, giving prominence to the fact that women could be part of this culture too. 